out in Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion in mercy, complete my joy by being the same mind with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vainglory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also for those of others. Have in you the same attitude that is also in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, being obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God exalted, greatly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that in the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reading. 
gospel today is precisely about being submissive, isn't it? Being submissive to the Father. Ultimately, this isn't this what faith is all about. To be submissive to God is sometimes not knowing all the reasons why. It reminds me of a TV show in the 1950s. Some of you might remember Father Knows Best. And exactly, our Father, the God of Heaven, knows best. We, as Americans especially, I think have a problem in submission. Just look around in society today, and everybody, as soon as we talk about obedience, they invoke the Second Amendment, the Fourth Amendment rights. Even in the country, the simple fact of wearing a mask in public, social distancing, has become a big political issue. I cannot understand where you have assemblies of tens of thousands of people and how they anybody are wearing a mask and they stand shoulder to shoulder to one another. It's my rights versus the common good. Submit to the common good. And I believe a true Christian must focus in on the common good. What's good for all? Society, the church. <laughs> But if we focus only on my rights, my individual needs, or my good, then we begin comparing one another. And soon we realize very quickly, well, that we're not all equal, are we? Some are millionaires, some are poor, some are homeless. Some are living in mansions. Some are short, some are tall, some are strong, some are frail. My dad died at the age of 90 with a full head of hair. I'm bald. And as the first reading says, they say that God's ways are not fair. It's like two kids, right? Saying, look, you got more rice cream than I have. And the fight continues. It's not fair. It goes for all of us, right? Life is not fair. And if that means equal, it doesn't stand. A couple of weeks ago, a friend of mine sent me a link to a video about a man in Australia, maybe some of them have seen it, the man was born without arms and without legs. Now, can you imagine that? Just his body. No arms, no legs. And yet, the man has done wonders. He has, uh, he gives motivational talks around the world. We look at that, and I thought, boy, the Lord is unfair. To give a man like that with so little, and yet he has been able to do so much with what God has given him. For others, like most of us, I guess, with two arms and two legs, and many do so little with all that the Lord has given us. In a card game, you play with the deal that you have been given, right? And that's the way it is. You don't compare. You submit to the Father, to His will, and you ask the Lord to do His will in our only ordinary ways of being there for one another, being supportive, especially in these very trying days.
Let us not stand in the new opposition of faith as we say. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of the Father, born of the Father and Lord of all ages, God from God, light and light, true God from true God, begotten not made, unsubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men, for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was encountered of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified with the conscious power. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom I have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess the practice for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, with trust and confidence in divine generosity, let us pray to God our Father for all who labor in the vineyard of Christ for the salvation of people and for those in every danger and need. For our Holy Mother Church, the visible sign of God's love on earth. May her preaching and teaching under the leadership of Pope Francis bless the people of God with the desire of sharing in the loving life of God our Father. We praise the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For peace and justice in the world and in our country, may Jesus' love for the poor, the hungry, and the sorrowful inspire all political leaders in ending violence, hatred, and discrimination protecting the innocent, and caring for every human need. We praise the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For personal growth, may God help us be committed to the decisions we make and be responsible for following through with them. We praise the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For refugees and migrants, those who have brought to our country and to our church a rich diversity of culture and faith, of resilience and hope. May they be welcomed as brothers and sisters as together we shape this country into a place of respect, harmony, and compassion. We praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in need of God's healing power, that in the prayer intentions of the weekly bulletin and those suffering from COVID-19 and other illnesses, may they be assisted by the Holy Spirit. And may those who heroically care for people with the coronavirus be protected from harm and be strengthened by Jesus, the divine physician. We praise the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our relatives, friends, and parishioners who have died, may they share in the glory of the risen Lord. We remember Michael McVeigh, Joan Garrity, and Florence Lockwood, who died this week. And for all our own personal intentions, we praise the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here to worship in faith, those who are praying with us online and those who cannot attend Mass today, may God make us swift to do His will and slow to judge our neighbor, that we may walk with those who follow the way of repentance and faith and so enter His heavenly kingdom. We praise the Lord. Lord, Lord God, God. Pray. Father God of love, you made a sacrifice we are about to offer on this altar ascend with our prayers to you. And bring us your blessings and your grace. Guide us in right paths and give us courage to face the challenges of life. We ask this in Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> This weekend, the second collection basket is our regular building maintenance fund. 
As we finish up the fall renovations, we need to do some major work on the church heating system, so please be as generous as possible. Thank you. Next weekend, all are welcome to participate in a special new mass for our collaborative at St. Mary Church, celebrated for our second year confirmation families. Please sign up online if you'd like for any other mass, like any other mass. Both of our parishes will again host a CBS Blue Shot Clinic next Sunday at St. Martha and on Columbus weekend at St. Mary. Get your flu shot while they last. Check our website, pwc.church, for details. For safety reasons, we are not passing baskets during the Mass. Please drop your contributions and any envelopes in the designated baskets near the doors when you exit the church. In addition, there should be no contact with the exchange of peace. At communion, please wait for the usher to invite you forward, where you can only receive the host in your hands. Step aside to consume the host while making the, the example of the person in front of you.
at the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, he gave him thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim the death of the Lord and profess the resurrection until he come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministry to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in their mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit and be holiest to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Lamb of God, behold, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed those who are clothed with the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come into my room, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve us all in the life of the last day. Amen. <laughs>
and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 